Don't you sass me, Apple. Hello, hello. Hi. It's true, I do, I do. Uh, hi everybody, welcome in. Um, where's the big screen? Uh, there we go. Everybody say hi. I did, I did. I built it in true Microsoft fashion where it gets stuck at 100%. And... Yeah, I can turn the music down a bit. There we go. Hi. Um, happy Firebot Friday, everybody. Look, I'm even wearing my, uh, my Firebot shirt today. As is tradition. Um, so, I hope everybody's doing well. Hello, hello. Uh, here, let's move Firebot off the screen here, and then we can watch the build finish up. Uh, so, <clears throat> you're wearing your Firebot hoodie? Well, I mean, you gotta. We gotta represent, right? Uh, anyway, welcome in, everyone. It is good to see everybody. Uh, Apple, thank you for not only the resub, but for the five gift subs to the community. Um, I appreciate that, pal. That was incredibly generous of you. Um, let's see, who all got subs in that drop? I know Reject did, Sydney did. Yeah, Reject, uh, KitKat, Rackwack, Mr. Hassan, and Sydney. So, Apple, thanks, buddy. Um, so listen, we're going to release Firebot 5.61 today. Um, oh, Louie. Louie, no, buddy. Buddy, no. Um... But we're going to release Firebot 5.61 today and talk about some of the changes that are going on in it. There are some breaking changes that may affect you, so something that you want to um, keep an eye out for. To get a brief overview of what's going on in those changes, Apple actually made a video last night. Uh, he posted today. So if you would like to go see that, there's a link to his video that does like a quick overview. We are going to get into some of the more nitty gritty stuff in this version. Um, and we'll go over that in just a few minutes, but we're waiting on the build to finish, and then we will compile the release notes and get it released out to everyone so y'all can have it. And then everybody can come yell at me and say, Zunder, fix your fucking bot, because that's what, the way this thing works. Um, but yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Thanks, Neo. It's, it's, it's this, the new watch page is amazing, and like I'm this really, really excited day, about that. Uh... Thor, hi, buddy. Good to see you. Perny, God, Perny, stop it. You stop that. All of it. Perny, thank you for 20 months. I love you. I appreciate you. Um, Yeah, it'll be done in just a second. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go and start compiling the release notes from all of the... Um, let's see... All the beta changes. Um, let's go see. Thor, thank you. Thank you. Listen, um, I, we say this a lot in the Discord, and I say this whenever I have one of the Firebot streams, but thank you all so much for using Firebot. This means a lot to us. This is a passion project. This is a labor of love. Um, I mean, obviously, we don't make money on this. We spend our free time working on Firebot, um, and it's a lot of our free time sometimes. I mean, there are nights that we are up past 1 a.m. working on stuff or talking about, you know, things that we're planning and stuff like that. And we really want to make sure that we put out the best software for y'all that we can because, I mean, a lot of us are streamers too. Um, and we want to make sure we build something that we would enjoy, but that other people will enjoy using as well. So um, thank you. Thank you very much for everybody who uses Firebot, who gives us feedback. Um, especially the folks that use the betas. The betas give us a chance to really like kind of let stuff gel and see how well things are working before we release it to everyone. So we actually caught a lot of stuff in this last beta cycle thanks to our beta testers. Uh, and everybody got to use the uh, the new feature that we're going to be talking about today that we really love. Um, now that's fun. I'll tell you that story in a few. So in the meantime, let me get... Uh... Let's see, I don't need a log. All right, let's go and get the beta changes. Let's go get this all compiled. Ah, uh, so.
Let's get all this ready. Uh, Grandpa Celery, welcome in. These are a thing. Um, we are we are trying to get back to doing Firebot dev streams, and so um, especially for these last couple of versions, just because there's been so much stuff that's in them, we wanted to provide a place for y'all to kind of get to know us and talk about the changes and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm I'm very very excited. Yeah, give us give me about like five minutes, and you'll be able to just close and reopen Firebot and get the new stuff. Um, all right, so let's see the stuff that got fixed in, in process, we're not going to, we're not going to include, but we are going to do some updates here. So let's see. Ice bear needs it for everyday hustling. Oh, Apple, thank you for gifting a sub to Biggs. Uh, so we actually have several members of our team around today. Um, so Apple it just gifted a sub to Biggs. Those are two of our core team members. Reject is as well. Um, CKY, y'all know CKY in my community. Uh, he's one of our Firebot experts. Uh, Dennis on the internet is one as well. Um, Dragon Slayer, uh, he's a friend of ours who hangs out sometimes. Um, all these folks, these are these are part of our 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 group that help keep Firebot running and. Uh, we could not do it without the team effort. So, uh, especially for our our Firebot experts who keep the Discord running for us, they they do a lot of great great Spend stuff for us. For everyday so. hustling. Apple, thank you for gifting a sub to Dennis. You're just on a roll today, Dennis, with his with his little his little his Nico emote. I love Nico has such great emotes. It's great. Yeah, like a lot of the team is here. It's true. Um. Right, let's see what we got here. Um, boy, we have so much new stuff in this release again. Like, it's kind of wild. I'm going to do some... Just some additions, some... Updates to the notes here. Um, so let's see. Uh, we've got the featured streams stuff, which is awesome. Um, let's put this down uh, here. Ah, uh, let's see. Listen, I know, I know Fire Bottle is somewhere in the shadows. As is tradition. Uh, let's see, we don't need that stuff. We'll grab this and put this under. Mm. Okay, grab that. That's a beta issue, that's a beta issue, that's a beta issue. Okay, I think Hello. this is all of our release notes. Ooh, woo. All right, let's go and get this thing ready to release. Okay, release is drafted. There's our draft. I know there's a couple of things that we're going to have to add in here as well. Um, I want to go look at the... We bumped Electron again just before stream started. Let's see... Someone didn't squash merge CKY's PR. Listen, it's fine. It's fine. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm not worried about it. You shouldn't be worried about it. Besides, it's something that we can haze them about later. Let me go make sure the last few things... Um... Is 
because I want to make sure we put that in there. Um, what else do we do? I'm checking. Yeah, we did that. Those are fine. Nice, Liz. Nice. Okay, so that's just... I think that's all we did was... I know, Reject, you put in the, uh, the spoofs so that we could have... The descriptions for them, the electron changes, the quick actions. Let me put that in there as well. Um, okay. Uh, was there a... What was the issue number on that one? 2401. And I think that was what, 2400 was the, or was it 2402? 2402, yeah. Ah, nefarious CAT, welcome in. Come in. I hope everyone's having a great Friday. Getting ready to go into the weekend. Uh, uh, Dennis, are you... Yeah, we're we're releasing. We can do... We can do a, a hot fix if we need to. But we're going to go ahead and release now. Preview this, make sure everything is here. Let's see. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Ready to push the button? The time to push the button yet? Are we are we ready to hit the big red button? Button. All right, folks. Firebot five point six one is out. No, it's no, it's too late. It's too late. Reject. I already did it. I pushed the button. The button has been pushed. No, it's hurt. It's dramatic flare, okay? It's dramatic flare. This is why we can't have nice things. I am exactly why we can't have nice things. I am exactly why we can't have nice things. Um, oh, my top bar's messed up. Let me go fix that real quick. Where's the... I bet I know why. Uh, where's my overlays? Where's my DOS box? That should work. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's fine now. Vegeta, no! Vegeta, yeah! Vegeta, no! Vegeta, no, absolutely not. Did I start the news bar? I don't know that I did. I didn't. There we go. Look, Perny, it's your name. Um, hey, reject. Thanks for thanks for letting me know. Appreciate it. Uh, all right. So let's let's go over some stuff because we have we have some really important stuff. I know we had. This is the second release in a row where we have some breaking changes, but again, this is. The last one was a Twitch thing. This one is an us thing, and we're trying to make Firebot better long term and more consistent and things like that. Um, no, I I cannot zoom in on the page at all. I'm sorry. There's no zooming. We don't allow zooming here. Uh, Tug does have great emotes. It's true. Tugboat is is Tugboat is a good egg. We like him. All right. You need more zoom. Just one more zoom. 
How about now? Is that enough? Is that enough? Shut up, Pernt. You love him. Okay, so this is this is the new stuff in Firebot 5.61. Um, I'm going to start with this. Um, our variable processing engine has been overhauled, so a lot of the variables got reworked, okay? Um, there is a wiki article that is linked. Oh, you know what I didn't do yet? Hold on. I forgot to post it in Discord. Let me go get the Discord post ready. I forgot. Not much of a release if nobody in the Discord knows about it, huh? Sorry, folks. It's just going to take me just a minute to get uh, get it rolling here. Uh, I'm going to have to take the notes. And this is going to be... This one's going to be a long one again. Um, all right, let me copy that, toss this in notepad, grab the URL, perfect, and then I'm going to have to do, nope, nope, there we go, one day I'll figure this out, one day I'll know how to do this. It's not going to be today, but one day I will. Uh, if you don't post about the release, did it even happen? No. No, it never happened. Burning, no, that's, that's different. All right, let's go. Um, all right, then we'll go. Perfect. All right. Yeah, we have to replace the the way the uh, it works in the Discord posts is different. Am I? What am I? Oh God, I'm over by like I'm over by like fourteen hundred. Uh, yeah, I guess y'all can watch me do this because the. Thing is obscured. Um, all right, let's see. Added new variables. I got nitro. Yeah, I got nitro. Yeah, I can I can make super long. Actually, I Nitro doesn't matter for this because it's a web hook. Oops. Yeah. Dang it. Reject, did you go through and uh, close the issues yet? Or do you want me to do that? I'm also going to take the references to the issues out of here just to reduce some of this because there's a lot of stuff and I would like to fit as much of the... Um, I can take the beta notice out. And yeah, this is good. This is getting there. Um, Perny, Perny, you degen, also that's fair.
You can do it? Okay, thanks, buddy. Thank you, Dennis. Every bite helps. Okay. Uh, well, that took away a lot. Boy, howdy. All right, let's go. Let's get rid of these things. This is going to take away some, but not a ton. Just has to do something arty like once a year. Listen, my ex the extent of my art is the scene that you see around me. This is this is my art. What I do, I have the like my latest ones have been this DOS one, and then I have a Windows ninety eight one that looks like this. That also has Clippy, which is fun, but yeah. Oh, you just missed it, Dennis. You just missed it. Sorry, buddy. All right, let's see. Let's continue to get rid of... Oh, thank you. I'm I'm pretty proud of it. Oop. This is going to remove quite a bit, but still not enough, I know. Um, what are we at? We still needed to lose, like, 760 characters. Uh, let's go... I'm going to... I want to remove the examples from here. That removes a substantial amount. Um, what else we got here? Where we put at? That's still three hundred and forty-ish too long. We try to keep it to one message just so it doesn't like inundate people because some people are subscribed to the channel because it's an announcement channel. So we try to keep it to one message if we can. Um. The. But that has to stay. That's important. I think I might come down here. See, I need to take this out. Yeah. So here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I know that adds to it, but I'm gonna take some things out. So, oh, uh, let's see. That comes out. Oh, I need to take that out of the regular release notes anyway, because I actually ended up removing that. And so that's fine. I can update. Yeah, it's it's just webhooks are webhooks have a limit. Like the the embed has a limit of four hundred ninety six four thousand ninety six characters total. Uh, 
Let's pull out some of the... Okay, that takes out... Why isn't that... Is it just... Like, we have that in the previous release where we did that, right? No, I guess we didn't. Okay. So let's do this, then. We're gonna do this. We're gonna just comma-separate these. Come over here. We're gonna go replace. We're going to replace that with comma space. Place all. Beautiful. And then we're going to come here. Because we don't want this to look weird. That's a lot. Yeah, that's okay. That does everything. I I don't even yeah it's fine it's just it's gonna be long enough as it is we can just do comma separated here because it'll be it'll be separated out by like groups of variables in the release notes so so this is fine um okay I think that's gonna include that's gonna be like the important stuff because we have the notice up here um. That's all good, that's all good. Yep, 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 happy with that. All right, uh, let's send it, I think. Mark down for nested list now with the dashes, we. Oh. Oh, it does sub okay. All right. Well, we can do it on the next one. I mean, it's done now. Okay. Five six one zero. There we go. We're out. We're done. I am opted into the. I am opted into the watch list. Excuse you. I absolutely am. It's right there. I am opted into the new feature. Thank you very much. All right, that's done. I don't need that anymore. Am I not on the page? Why is it not? Why did it not do it? What's going on? Uh, I don't know why it's not doing it, but it's I'm opted in. What? Oh, 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 oh. Listen, I am i can't read. Don't expect me to read. Don't expect me to read. I'm debugging event sub. Leave me alone. All right, it's fine. You link on the Firebot main page to the featured streamers list? Yes, there is. So, and we'll come to that in a second. Um, we'll come back anyway. Okay. So let's go over some stuff first. Um, we've got, we, we overhauled how variable processing works. So a lot of the stuff that we were doing with variables was, especially with things like numbers and objects and things like that, we were converting a bunch of things to like string values to text values, and then having to do conversions back and forth. And just, it's a whole, it was this whole thing. So 
we now don't do that. We now pass things in, around as their like object or array, whatever like the data type underneath is. Um, so it's eliminated the need for a lot of what we have called our raw variables that actually did do that before. There's a wiki article that talks about all the breaking changes, but we have a lot of things that like returned arrays that no longer return strings. They actually return array type values. Um, and all of these raw variables have all been deprecated. So there are equivalents that you use that are like the normal ones that um, don't require you to use the raw ones anymore. So this is something that you'll need to look out for when you are updating to 5.6.1 and you're checking to make sure that all of your effects and everything work uh, this, the way that they're supposed to. Oh, Louie. Oh, buddy. Um, so... Take a look at the wiki article that's in the release notes. It is at the very top of the notes on um, uh, on GitHub. It's at the top of the notes in the Discord announcement. Like it's, there are links to the wiki article. Read the wiki article to make sure you have changed anything that um, is affected by these variable changes. Okay. Yes, the deprecated ones. So. Yes, good call out, Reject. The deprecated ones will continue to work for the foreseeable future. They will eventually go away at some point, um, but they will not, they're no longer supported. So if you're using one of these, like the raw ones, we will no longer support them. We will tell you change over to their like normal equivalents because these will no longer be updated. These will continue to be supported. Um, so like version six, they will eventually go away. We don't have a time frame on version six still, but, um, these will eventually go away. So, you know, is the ad running? Let me give, let me refresh. Okay. I'm not showing the ad running right now, so it's probably a shirt ad. Oh, oh, a short ad. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Louis, 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 why do you hurt yourself, buddy? Why do you hurt yourself in this way? That's fair. Uh, my my ad manager showing that it's not it's it's not running. So um, okay. So once again, the raw of variables they're deprecated. They will continue to work, but they will eventually go away at some point in the future. Probably version six. Um, but if something changes, they are not supported. These versions that we tell you to use in their stead are the ones that are supported and will work. Um, some of these now will return arrays instead of comma separated lists. There's instructions on how to use array join to get the comma separated list that you expected before. Um, and then there's ones up here that will return an array now versus a JSON string. You can get that JSON equivalent with convert to JSON. So if you have any issues, we do have a thread in the Discord. For any of your variable issues, it's in the Discord. It is pinned to the issues channel, but this is the link that you want to use if you are having issues with your variables after the 5.61 update, okay? Post them in there. That way we can keep track of them. If we have any issues that we find out are code issues, we can fix those. We can put out patches for that. Um, otherwise, if it's something that's beha uh, behavior that has changed that we've noted here in the wiki article, then we can point folks there or we can like tell folks how to update their setups to use the updated stuff. Um, all right, so that's the variable changes. Now, the big new feature that we are really, really excited about is what we call Firebot Featured Streams. There's a new option that you can do in 
Um, whenever you're setting up Firebot for the first time or on a new machine, you can get it in the uh, setup wizard. Or if you go into settings, scroll down to settings, go to general, and just under beta notifications, you'll see an option to feature my stream on firebot.app. So what's gonna happen is, uh, whenever you go live, and you're whenever you're connected to Twitch and you go live, Firebot will let our website know, hey, this particular streamer is live, we can go watch their stream. Uh, I'm waiting for mine to check back in because it takes, it's on like a half an hour timer, and we just push an update to the website, so we'll we'll get there um so um i'll on once we once the cache refreshes and i send it back in i'll send it I'll, I'll show you again um so we'll come back to that in just a little bit but that's that one's really fun and we really enjoy that uh the top bar now indicates the status of an active hype train so at the very top where you see where we can have like our uptime, our viewer count. We can also show hype train status. It will show you what level and percentage the hype, hype train is so that you can keep track of that wherever you are in Firebot. Um, really excited about that. And I have some things that I wanna do around ad breaks, hopefully um, in a future version. No time frame yet, but we are working on getting uh, data for scheduled ad breaks that come through the ad manager. Um, just a matter of waiting for some stuff with the software library that we use for uh, Twitch access. Um, commands, channel rewards, timers, and scheduled effect lists can all now be enabled or disabled via tag. What this means is if I go to my commands and I go to my test command here and I go toggle command, I can go toggle custom commands by tag. And I can go, I can activate all commands by like a specific tag that I have. So like if I have um, like all of the sound stuff, I want to turn all the sound stuff on, I can. If I want to take all of my like, you know, we're not doing Able Gamer stuff right now, so if I want to deactivate those just for the time being, I can do that. But whatever your tags are, you can now toggle or activate, deactivate items by their tag, uh, which includes, again, um, let's close that. Where's the, I was in the wrong window. Uh, commands, channel rewards, timers, and scheduled effect lists. Uh, Dennis put in a lot of work on that one, so thank you very much, Dennis. That was That's a huge one that I know folks have been waiting for for a very, very long time. Um, cooldowns. This is something that people have been asking about for quite a while also. So one of the things that we did with cooldowns was whenever you go to your commands list, it would... Just refresh all the cooldowns. If you did toggling a command, it would refresh its cooldown so it was no longer like on cooldown, things like that. Um, we've done a lot of under the hood work in the last few versions of Firebot, including with this. Commands no longer cool down early by accident, okay? When you cool down a command, it stays, cool, it stays on cooldown until it's supposed to come back off of it. You can clear your cooldowns with a button up here to clear all cooldowns, or you can right click and clear cooldowns on an individual command. Um, so really excited about this. We know again, cooldowns, that's a, that was a little bit of a pain point for folks that wanted to make sure that their stuff stayed on cooldown as they were moving around the bot. So we redid a lot of stuff under the hood and that was one of the things we were able to fix because of it. Um, Kat, that's awesome. We, we, we love our users, especially like folks that are discovering Firebot for the first time. Love, love, love that for you. Um, so very excited about that. I think I can close all these now. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, <clears throat> So in addition to all of the variable work that went in that Reject spent like weeks working on, one of the things that we have now is 
we have some shorthand properties for accessing both custom variables and effect outputs. Okay. We literal weeks, literal weeks. Hi Fritz. Love you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Um, so custom variables, um, you know, it's a lot to go, you know, dollar sign custom variable and put in brackets, the name of the variable. You don't have to do that anymore. You can now do double dollar sign with the name of the variable. And that's the same thing as doing dollar sign custom variable with the brackets in it. So for example, let's say I have in here, I've got a log message, right? It just says test. If I go custom variable and let's, let's look at my inspector and see what I've got. Um, last subscriber. That's a great one. Cause I keep track of that. Cause that's how we have the, uh, on the, the newsfeed down at the bottom there. So last subscriber, and I can go here. Um, that's an info message. Hey, what are you doing down there? There we go. So I can see who the last subscriber was right there. Now, if I want to do it the same way with the shorthand, I just do double dollar sign, dollar sign, last subscriber. Test it and same thing. There it is again. There's, there's Perny's name right there. And I can just done. We can do the same thing with effect outputs. So if you are using the effect output system, uh, and you're doing something like, um, say the HTTP request and you want to store the results like a JSON object that you get back and you want to store the results in a um, in a variable to use later on in like, like subsequent effects in that run, do the same thing, except it's dollar sign and percent. So dollar sign and percent with the name of the variable or the effect output is the same thing as dollar sign effect outputs with the name in brackets, same exact thing. Um, so this is just like, this has been in something that. God, we've been talking about what reject for like two and a half years, adding this in and with all the updates that he made in the variable system for this release, um, he was able to go ahead and add this in and we're super, super excited about that. Um, we added some exact matching for the array find variable. So if you're looking for like exact values, it will do that now. Um, we've added new user is banned and user is timed out variables. So if you want to check the status of a user inside of some like effect that you're running, you can use that now and just put the username inside brackets. Uh, we've got a new pronouns variable. Uh, you can look up the examples for that, but we, uh, pull pronouns from the pronoun API for that. Um, many of you are using that today. Uh, so that's really exciting to have where you can like actually look up someone's pronouns. If you want to say like, um, for example, like grandpa celery's here in chat. Okay. Say I were to shout him out and I wanted to, you know, use someone's actual specific pronouns when I shout them out, instead of saying, you know, go check them out. I can say, use the pronouns variable to say, go check him out. Or if I'm, you know, somebody like Liz LaFay, I can say, check her out, whatever it may be. We have that ability now for people who use the pronoun extension. Um, we can use the pronouns variable. Uh, we've added some additional stuff to kind of bring the extra life integration up with some of the new Twitch charity stuff. So there's extra life info, milestones, donations, and incentives that you can use with your um, effects now. This is great, especially for stuff. If you want to like display some of the recent stuff on screen and an overlay, you can use these variables now for that. Um, yes. And CK is correct. If there is no, like, if there's not a one for, that we get from the API, it will default to they, them. Um, we've added some new stuff so you can now get a random item out of an array. Uh, we now have a files in directory. So if you want to get like a list of files in a directory and put it in a variable that returns back in an array, 
Then we also have new text pad start and end variables if you want to add some kind of character set to the beginning or end of a text string. We also have new null, true, and false variables to do equivalencies for things like if statements and things like that. Um, this is one that we had a lot of call for as well, and I'm really excited about this. So in Steam, the Steam uh, uh, system command that we have, we can look up and see what you know games and apps are available on Steam and return back information about them. Um, the problem is we were sort of at the mercy of the like language and currency set that Steam provided just whatever it thought we wanted. You can now go into the Steam command and you can set the default currency for Steam. So when I look up something on Steam and I go Steam Stardew Valley, we will bring back the stuff in whatever that particular default currency you specify is. So we use like three uh, three letter currency, like standard currencies like USD, EUR, CAD, GBP, etc. Um, I use USD because I'm in the United States. I use the US dollars, but this shows me like the US dollar English version. Uh, so I'm really really excited about that one. Um, we have a new event. So we now now have a before Firebot closed event. So if there's like stuff that you do, like automation that you've set up on your stream and you want to clean some stuff up, like as Firebot's closing, you can now do the before Firebot closed event. And like right before Firebot's done and closes out, you this event will trigger and you can uh, have effects run on that. Stardew Valley only an 89 on Metacritic, right? See, Firebottle gets it. You get it. Hi, buddy. Boy, we really do have just about the whole group here. Oh no, oh I see, we we trade Biggs for Fire Bottle. Oh, I get it, I get it. Biggs, I'll see you in a little bit, bud. Um, This is another one that we had a lot of people asking for. So, uh, oh I know, Reject, I know. Um, So, we have a lot of variables and effects that we can use in Firebot, and there's like just a ton of stuff that you can do out of the box. But folks were really at, there were a lot of, you know, we have a lot of power users that want to do even more advanced stuff, right? And we have folks that are programmers like me who also stream and want to be able to do more advanced things. So we now have both a new evaluate JavaScript effect and eval.js variable. Now, if you go back to Apple's video, uh, let me see, where's that link? Do, do, do. Where did I, I had that earlier. There we go. Uh, if you go back to Apple's video, uh, he goes into a little bit of, of showing how it works. Um, but basically, you can run some simple JavaScript and get a value back and we can pass in parameters and things like that so that you can do like any kind of advanced custom processing that you want to do. And what's nice about this particular effect is that we provide you a code window like you would expect for, um, uh, for, any kind of particular like uh, color um, syntax highlighting. That, that's the word for syntax highlighting. Um, what's also nice about this is we also provide some basic stuff inside of this. So we actually pass in a Firebot object and you can get custom variables and effect outputs by their names as functions inside of JavaScript. So if I want to go if I go return firebot dot get custom variable, or I can go like this. Let's go. Uh, let's see. What the heck is it? Um, last subscriber.
There we go. Does it put it in the... Oh, I have to await the call. But you get the idea. Like, there's there's some stuff around it. I haven't even played with it yet. Like, this is the first time I'm actually even trying to do anything with it. But, um, like, this is, this is, like, a huge thing for folks who want to do advanced sort of stuff on it. And it wait, is it Firebot with a capital F? Oh, it's with a capital. Okay, let me go update the uh let me go update the release notes then. Just to make sure that's correct. Uh wanna go update the uh post as well. The Discord post. I just want to make sure that's like actually correct there. Yay! Kitty, what are you doing? What are you doing? Except for meta, right? Because metadata is actually just the object. Okay. Edit. Uh okay. We're good. We're good. Perfect. Um But like I can come in here and go in my log message, I can go eval js And run that. Oh, did I screw it up? I thought I'd recheck. Don't you use double back ticks for it? Isn't that it what it's looking for? The double back takes, huh? I don't know. Wonder why it's being wonky. Oh, does it not? No, it should be fine because it's got it's inside the double back ticks. Oh, that would help. That would help. There we go. See, so we're running just running JavaScript inside of a sandbox. It's run inside of a sandbox. There are very there's a lot of limits to what this can do. But it does open up a lot of possibilities. So very, very excited about seeing what folks can come up with. I know CKY is going to do like a thousand things by the end of the weekend. We've also added some uh, more advanced command line options. So you can specify your user data directory for your profile and a place for your secrets if you're doing your own development and you want to use like your own um, Twitch client ID and things like that. And to the end of the day. Yeah, okay, that's fair. That's fair. Yes, you also, yes, the Evaluate JavaScript and EvalJS also have access to Fetch. Um, so if you need to, like, pull something from, like, a specific website or something, you can. Again, you can still use Effect Output. So if you wanted to do HTTP request instead to do something a little more advanced or just keep things simpler and keep it, like, your code cleaner for the Evaluate JavaScript stuff, you can send the HTTP request to an Effect Output and get it via the Get Effect Output. Uh, function that's on the Firebot object, but again, it just depends on what you want to do. Can input to a list of items. Nice, nice, Grandpa. That's awesome. So that's that's really all the new stuff. Again, this is sort of this is the variables release. Like variables got a lot of love in this update. Um, again, thanks to Reject who, like, who basically wrote the variable system. Like this is. Um, Oh, Matt, I, you'll find out. You'll find out. Um, I we just I just really like craisins. That's all. 
Yeah, basically. Basically. I mean, it's only it's only your expression-ish code that runs the evaluator's stuff on it, so it's fine. It's fine. It is shaking the treat box for me. Thank you. Sure. I eat it. Okay. Thank you. Oh, Bean Bean brought me Bean brought me food. She brought me a Cuban sandwich from our favorite Cuban place. So she went out and had lunch with the family today. So now I have now I have Cuban sandwich and oh sweet tea. Mmm nom 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 nom. Just uh, excuse me while I fix the lid real quick. Mm, sweet tea. Yeah, you get it, kitty. You get it. Remove user slap with the known bot tag. Um, Kat, you should be able to do that today. Um, you should be able to do that today. Uh, because the known bots, known bots is a role that we... So if we go to our viewer roles, known bots is a role that we manage. You don't like American sweet tea? Oh no, I I've perfected American sweet tea. I have I make the best American sweet tea. I haven't tried to do it, cat, so it's it's something that I just I don't have any I cuz I don't I don't really pay that much attention to the known bots. So I just they just kind of sit in they kind of sit in my list and do their thing. Um, oh, dang, kitty. Dang. Dang, that's right here, buddy. Right here. Just my heart. All right, let's get into some of the improvements. Um, so we did have some confusion around the tooltip um, about storing Twitch clip URLs in a custom variable. We've clarified that, so that makes a little bit more sense. And again, you can use double dollar sign with the name of uh, whatever the variable name is now to store it, which is great. Uh, we talked about command cooldowns. So because we have this button here, commands no longer uh, are cleared inadvertently, including when switching to the commands tab, when using the toggle command effect, and there were a couple of other scenarios that um, that got changed with that so that commands stay on cooldown until the cooldown expires or you tell them to, to expire, like manually. That's it. So the $1 sign indicates a built-in Firebot variable. So let's go and say like, we have a list of our variables here, and we have a bunch of built-in variables that you can use depending on, um, you know, what your, you know, what, uh, what the trigger is, whether it's like a command or an event or something like timed and a, uh, a preset effect list, things like that. But we have a bunch of built-in ones, and we indicate those with a single dollar sign. Oh, hi, loaf. Can we see bear? Yeah. Um, so, like, pronouns here is a single dollar sign variable, and you can specify a username to get their pronouns, right? Um, double dollar sign is a shorthand or a custom variable. So we have the custom variable that you can specify the name to get the custom variable value, okay? So like custom variable last subscriber. So I have a custom variable that I set for last subscriber so I can display on the screen 
who the last person to subscribe to the channel was. Okay, that's my own custom variable that I have. Instead of having to do custom variable with the brackets every time I want to use that value, the double dollar sign is just a shorthand for using whatever that name is. So this second dollar sign is basically just like putting custom variable with the name of the custom variable inside of it. It's just a shorthand for that. So yes, yes, man, I brand new in this release that just came out, um, brand new. So we've got double dollar sign for custom variables and then we have dollar sign ampersand for effect outputs. So if you have like an HTTP request that you save it in uh, HTTP request, like I can go, let's see, HTTP request, and I can put in a URL here and we have the outputs and you can set up like HTTP response here. I can go and do dollar sign ampersand HTTP response and it does the same thing as if I were to do a dollar sign effect outputs with the name of that effect output inside of the brackets. So same thing. Same thing, just shorthand to help clean things up for you because we know that's stuff that people commonly use, especially custom variables, um, just to make it simpler and clean up. But yeah, brand new stuff, brand new stuff. Um, so that one's, that one's a fun one. Um, so we redid, we, like I said, we've been redoing a bunch of stuff under the hood the last few versions. And one of the things that we redid was what we call our viewer database. Okay, so we have whenever you we have a feature called the viewer database, which is how we store things like the first time they showed up to a stream, the last time they were there, their view time based on how long they've been in chat, how many chat messages they have, how many like how much currency they have. So if I go to like CKY, right? And let's do CKY here. I can see CKY, the first time I saw him was in, on April Fool's Day of 2022, which seems very appropriate for him. Last seen today, he's watched my stream a bunch because he loves me, and he sent a bunch of chat messages because he likes to talk a lot, right? Um, and then I can come in here and see things like his avatar and his name and see that like he's, he follows the channel, he's a subscriber, um, I can update any of this meta, unless this Firebot data that we have here, we can add custom metadata for like some value that I want to keep track of, whatever. And then any custom roles that he might have in my, in my channel. Um, all of this stuff we were tracking mostly by username prior to this update. The problem with that is the username that we use under the hood is like the display name which in uh, Eastern Asian countries, I know we had like uh, in Japanese, Chinese and Korean languages uh, that I know of, um, that caused an issue because we couldn't do, we couldn't look up things by the user's display name. We would have to have like their user login ID equivalent or their user like ID number. So we rebuilt the way that we handle most of that stuff under the hood now. So whenever we have someone that comes in with one of those like extended Unicode character sets that uses like non-English characters, we can now view those and store those in the database. Um, also, whenever someone changes their name on Twitch and they come back to your channel, because we're looking up by their ID number, which never changes, that will update their information and their display name in your viewer database because we associate it with the ID and not the display name. So we're hoping this fixes a lot of things. Um, and you know, we encourage people if you're doing things by username and you like, and you have people that have those like extended character set display names, and you're like doing lookups and things like that for them, we highly recommend you use the user ID name variable versus username. Um, so like, instead of using username, we use user ID name because this is the ID that Twitch looks for. 
This is the one that Twitch actually like we can we can search Twitch's API for. So if you're looking for things up about them, uh, it does not log their previous names. No, no, we do not keep a history. We just keep whatever the current one is. the The last one that they showed up with in your channel, whether they were active in chat or they were just like connected to the chat for your channel and they show up in your your chatters list. Um. So no, we do not. We do not store previous names. Um, but yeah, so that one's a really big one and one that was kind of important to me to get fixed. Um, and again, usernames now get updated when they appear in chat after they change their username. Again, this is whether they are chatting in your channel or not. If they're just lurking, but they are connected to chat, which means they're in the list of your chatters, they will also show up with their, uh, their updated username. They will get updated. So... I know folks have seen errors in their uh, their logs before. You know, trying adding duplicate error, adding duplicate ID. That stuff should mostly go away now because of this change. Um, the commands command that lets you get a list of commands for your channel that posts on the Firebot website. You can now specify how you want that to show up. So. Um, that output is now customizable by you. And if you want to show whatever you want, or if you want to have it localized to your local language, all of that stuff, you can put that as your output now, um, customized for all of that. We also did some cleanup around, uh, the actual like data that we send up for that because we were sending just like a bunch of extra stuff. So we just ripped out the, the stuff that we don't need for when we show it on the website. So, um, just to clean that up. The run program effect can now read the output of many of the commands that you run. We read the standard output. So if you have a, a run program that's, you know, like a command line command that spits out something to standard output, we can now read that and store that in an effect output. Um, yes, good call out reject and you'll, and if you notice here, you can see the variables that we use. We use stuff in braces. We do not use the dollar sign variables here because these are output templates. These are not like regular message boxes that we use, right? So these have specific variables that you're able to use here, which is why we don't display the little variables button here. Um, that's, yeah, that might be, that's a longer conversation, CKY. Um, so one of the things that we added in the previous version in 5.60 was the ability for the bot to receive whispers, uh, the bot account itself to receive whispers and respond to commands um, that can trigger via whisper. One of the things that we had with that was whisper events were previously cached. So if a user sent you a whisper, that event would trigger once and then wouldn't trigger again for 12 hours. Kind of like viewer arrived, right? When someone arrives, they are, they show up in for your stream and you don't want them to show up again until either the next time you run Firebot or, you know, the next time you're streaming. So we would cache that event and we were doing the same thing with whispers. We no longer do that. So anytime someone sends you a whisper now, that event will trigger. And of course you can get the message and things like that. Um, we were having some issues where sometimes the known bot list, because that is a third party service that we depend on, that was not loading sometimes whenever Firebot would load, or if it had an issue, something just didn't work right. Um, we now, if, if something happens and you are not able to load that the first time it tries to load when Firebot starts, we will now try to load that again whenever you do your connection to chat. So if you notice like your known bots is not populating and you know that there are bots in your chat or in your, your chatters list, you can disconnect and reconnect to chat and we will try to pull that list down again. Um, follow count was sometimes not returning the data that we expected. So we updated the way that we pull that just a little bit to try to get a more consistent, correct value for that. That's still at the mercy of Twitch, but you know we're we try to get the best value that we can for that. 
Um, sub names, because that returns an array of objects, that also now includes display names as well. Um, the log message effect. I know a lot of folks use this for debugging. Uh, I know we certainly do in the dev process. Log message is now a multi-line uh, box. So for those of us who are doing a lot of complicated stuff or doing like eval.js and want to test things to and by writing it to the log before we do it on like a, an overlay and things like that, log message now gives you more breathing room when adding in your message text to do your testing. And fix something that started greeting everybody again. Yeah, yeah, that'll happen, Cat. That will happen with the, the viewer arrive stuff. Because that's something that we don't cache offline. Um, we had an issue with backup. So we redid the backup system a couple versions ago because we had some, some older stuff in there and we just needed to get on better, newer code. Um, unfortunately, one of the side effects of that was when you created a backup on Windows, it would not restore properly on uh, Linux or Mac systems. We've since fixed that. So we now, it creates those backups to where they can um, extract properly on those other systems. So any backups created on 561 and going forward will be able to work fine on those systems. Um, and again, we've, we've redone a bunch of things. So like the viewer database, we rebuilt um, like how that gets, um, how we access that, uh, our command handlers, especially for stuff like our, um, system commands and like running custom commands, currency access, uh, the in-app notification system has been redone. Um, so we're hoping to alleviate some of the issues with that. And then again, backups, we've, we've done some more work around backups as well. Um, just cleaning some of that stuff up. Um, and then we just had, you know, some miscellaneous stuff, typo fixes, things like that. Just, again, trying to clean things up, get some good polish on there, make sure things are even better. Uh, as far as fixes, because we've got more fixes that have happened. Um, we know folks were still having some issues with 7TV channel emotes. We have gotten that fixed because um, they have changed their API a couple of times over the last few months. So we've gotten... We're on the latest API stuff and made sure all of that stuff is working for both their global and channel specific emotes. So that should be fixed now. Uh, we had an issue with the raid event. So when someone was raiding your channel, if you were getting like their um, user ID or um, their user ID name, it was giving the wrong one. It was giving the the um, yours instead of the, the raiding broadcaster, the one that was raiding into you. So we got that done and fixed. Uh, we fixed a couple of things with quick actions. Uh, one, where they may not import correctly from a setup. And two, uh, where they may not show up when you add them from the dashboard. That's been all squared away now, so that's that's all done. Um, we had an issue where if you were using the loop effects effect, where you could run things in like a number of loops or whatever it may be, um, effect outputs weren't working as expected and causing some issues there. That's been fixed. Uh, conditional effects the if thens or the if else, um, that now properly ref, um, reads effect outputs. Um, chat message was not returning the full chat message for a command that was triggered by a regex trigger as opposed to like a normal text trigger. Um, so that's been fixed now. Um, part of the variable rebuild, uh, again, because we handle variables under the hood differently, uh, we were getting for a few things this object object. We no longer get that now. And then we fixed an issue for developers where if you have a plugin that um, you were registering like a custom script and you were adding your own HTTP routes, it may put in the wrong kind of slash for the path to your um, your web uh, your web endpoint. So we fixed that. Um, and then a couple of API changes. Um, you know, usual we bump Electron up to latest. Um, we did that like 28.2.3. We literally just did before uh, stream today. Um, uh, again, some stuff that uh, Dennis added for us. Timers you can now, via the API, you can take your timers and um, either activate, deactivate, or toggle your timers via the API. Um, and then the custom script parameters update and stop functions, we actually now call those properly. So if you are a custom script developer for Firebot, you're building plugins for Firebot, um, you can now get 
uh, notified when your parameters are updated and when the plugin is unloaded so that you can do any cleanup that you may want to do um, before you know attempting to reload the plugin again or whatever you may do. And that's it. That's the changes list of changes in Firebot 5.61. Um, again, a lot of stuff in this one, more breaking changes, which we, you know, Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Um, we we don't like to do breaking changes. We really don't. And anytime that we do one, we only do it because either we are forced to by Twitch or because we know that the long-term benefits far outweigh any short-term consequences like the variable changes that have to do. Uh, of course you like to do breaking changes because you like to do break, yes, yeah, I know. I know you like to break prod, um, but we we like to do thing. You know, we we want to make sure the things that we do are we know they're good long term changes, and we make sure that everything that we do is, um, is in the best interest of all of our viewers or all of our users, right? Um, so. We also like to kind of piggyback with those breaking changes and add things in that we know folks will, you know, appreciate and try to work really hard to to make up for it. And this the Firebot featured streams is is a huge one for us. You can see how now on the website we've got you know three of our Firebot users who are currently live, including me. Um, and you know if you hover, you can get a little preview of what folks are doing, which is really fun. Um, let's see, I can, and then you can click and go to their stream. And then when you're on the Firebot website, you can go see whenever we have people who are actually live, there's a fun little watch live button that takes you to the watch page. So you can see other Firebot streamers. You can find other folks that are using Firebot. So very, very, very excited about this. Yes, variable changes were necess necessary to fix some long-standing bugs that were like holding Firebot back, especially around variables. And it's just, you know, like one of the things that we talked about was these variables have been added at so many different points in Firebot. Like a lot of these variables have been around for years and some of them we've just added like in the last, you know, couple of months. And so a lot of the stuff that works with those variables works differently. So we wanted to make things more consistent. We wanted to think, make things work just better overall um, for everyone. And um, again, it sucks that we had to do breaking changes, but we wanted to make sure that, you know, again, we do things right by, by you folks, our users, because a lot of these pain points that you deal with, we do too. We're streamers. We, I mean, I use Firebot ridiculously extensively. Like my, again, my little news bar that's that's down there, down there, that's powered by Firebot. I've got, you know, I've got my stream admin stuff. This is a plugin. This is a custom script in Firebot that handles all of my stuff for me. So like, it's just, this is the kind of stuff that we that we do and we work on and we want to make sure it's the best for all of you as well. So, no point prediction for someone. Reviewers are scared to suggest something because they don't know what's possible. Suggest anything. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like there's so many things that, that we, we kind of leave Firebot open, right? Like, and that's part of the reason why it's open source is we want to see what other people can make with it. We, we, you know, are very open to suggestions from people. And yeah, like, can we do everything? No, we can't. We can't do everything. Um, it's either like platform limitations or some things. It's just like, you know, we don't know that um, maybe something is not necessarily, you know, that it, it's going to require a lot of effort. And we don't know how much use people will actually get out of it, things like that. Um, so it's just, you know, not everything's going to make it in but we love getting feedback from folks on ideas that they do have. Um, I mean, I joined the team almost two years ago now uh, because, you know, I had some ideas and I'm like, hey, uh, I wanna try to make this thing. And they're like, all right, cool. Let's see what it looks like. So I, you know, was working on stuff and trying to add some improvements and things like that. And 
eventually us like one of the big features that I suggested like right after I started using Firebot I finally as like part of the, the core dev team I got to add this in like scheduled effect list that you can run on like specific time schedules as opposed to like every, you know on an interval like I built this feature like this is this is one of this is my baby and I was just so excited to be able to add this into Firebot as a thing that I can do and now I have stuff that's like scheduled on very very specific you know uh time frames that I can do because it's just something that I really wanted and something that I thought would be useful and I got to build that and that was really fun yeah I sure am I sure am yeah I know CKY I know I'm more of a Windows schedule task person myself but cron is like the unix standard and I mean it 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 works. It works really well. Oh yeah, no warder like reject. He a hundred percent complained that into existence. A hundred percent. Like this was, like, yeah. He he was like, one night last week. Last week, I guess it was last week. He's like, yeah. He's like, um. He's like, it's like ten thirty at night. I want to watch somebody. Who's live? Who's, who's who are we watching? I don't know who to watch. And he's like, man, it'd be really f nice if we had some way to see, you know, what Firebot users are streaming stuff right now. And he's like, well, wait a minute, why don't we build it? And so, like, he, you know, started coming up with this concept for being able to see Firebot streamers. And then Biggs was like, hey, I can go, you know, put something together on the website and get the back end built for that so that we can do it. And, uh, and I'm like, all right, I'll go put the code in the client for it to do it as part of like our, our monitor to see when you're live and, and stuff like that. And so we did it and that's what we did. Like we just went ahead and, and just built it out. Um, because it's one of those things again, like we wanted a thing, we wanted to see a thing. <laughs> We just built this stuff because that's what's what we wanted. We thought, well, this would be cool for other people to use too. Like again, scheduled effect list. I I built this because I wanted it, and I thought, well, maybe somebody else will find this useful. Rejects like I want to watch people on. I want to watch somebody on Twitch, and I don't know who to watch. Who's streaming? Let's find out. Let's build a feature so that people can say, hey, I'm streaming on Twitch. Let's go see what's you know, what's going on. Like. I want the thing, let's make it. Yeah, exactly. I want this thing, let's make it. And so we did. And that's just, that's one of the things that I love about this piece of software. I love about our team is just, we're like, let's just build this thing. Like the, um, the evaluate JavaScript stuff where you can write your own custom JavaScript code to just get like really, you know, to do whatever data processing you want on some stuff to get an output. Like, Reject and Biggs have been talking about that for ages now and finally got that in, you know, he, he got it to a point to where he got it in, got it in a place where we think it's like, it's very safe to use because we put it into a sandbox where, you know, it's got a lot of power, but it's also limited. So, you know, to help kind of curb some of the nasty side effects that may happen with that stuff. Um, so, like, it's just it's something that, they wanted now they he just went and built it you know like it's just it's just so cool to me the kind of stuff that we are able to do on this in this piece of software like it's it's really really fun and i really love it and i've i've i mean i've been using firebot for about three years now and it's yeah i'm gonna lurk and see what other people do with firebot do it do it go see what other people are doing with Firebot. Like this is, uh, this is exactly what we built this page for is to see what other people are doing with Firebot. Because if you're using Firebot, obviously you're gonna have some kind of stuff that you're doing with your stream because you're running Firebot to be on this page, right? Like we, we, we built this for people to use um, with Firebot. And now we have a way to go see what cool stuff people are doing. Like we want to see this stuff. Um, like one of the things that, that I always look for whenever I go to a new channel and I want to go look for something, we have a Firebot shout out effect. Okay. 
And this, it's like a very specific design, this like on-screen shout out, right? So like, I want, let's see, I want to do Biggs, like Biggs is back. So like, we show Biggs, right? And I can see the last thing that Biggs was streaming was software and game development. Okay, because I know Biggs likes to work on, uh, he's he's a big part of Grand Theft Auto um, RP stuff. And so he'll build stuff around that. He'll build like, you know, mods for Grand Theft Auto. And so like anytime that I see this specific shout out pop up on someone's uh, stream, I'm like, I know that shout out. I fucking know that. That's a Firebot shout out. And then me, I can't help myself. I'm like, I can't help but notice that you're using Firebot. I I work on Firebot. This is, and then I strike up a conversation. And it's cool because like, it's like the stuff that we built, we see people using out in the wild. And that's just so cool to me. Like, it's just so cool to see like, this is a thing that I've worked on and people are using it. Like, holy shit, people are using this thing that I made, like, or that I helped make. It's like, it's really cool. So... Oh, um, you know, I'm something of a firebotter myself. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, I'm I'm just we love building this stuff. We love seeing what people make with this. Uh, again, like I have my my stream admin tools that I build with this, and you know that powers a lot of stuff on my stream. So like I'm just I love it. I love it. All I do is say hi, hi, how to do it. Yeah, and you break shit, and, and then you break shit, and then we have to go fix the shit that you found that, that's broken. But honestly, like, without you breaking stuff, CKY, we can't make it better, buddy. Since 2017? Yeah. Yeah, like, Firebottle, like, Firebottle set up something really, really cool for all of us to work on, and, you know, I got to come in after Firebot got transitioned over to Twitch, because it was originally a bot for a mixer. It was a mix play bot. And now it's like this huge, fully featured Twitch chat bot with all kinds of automation and, and reactivity. And it's just like, it's so cool seeing what everybody has built with this thing. It's just so nice. And the other thing that I love about this is that we like, we think about a lot of things that I don't know that everybody who builds bots does. Not not to, you know, nothing wrong with it. It's just there are things that we specifically think about. For example, accessibility. We try very hard to make Firebot a highly accessible piece of software for people because we have a lot of low or no vision users who use Firebot and can quickly work on things and update things in their bot because we've made it accessible and accessibility is like huge, huge thing for us and making sure it's like, we want as many people to be able to use and enjoy this as possible. And I've talked about this before, like, you know, those of you who have known me and been in my community long enough, you know that accessibility is a thing that's really important to me and to my community. Uh, you know, we've supported causes in the past, like Able Gamers, um, like our buddy Brian, he's editor in chief for Able Gamers. So, you know, this is, this stuff is important to us. Um, and to, to be able to work on a project like Firebot, where it's also important to the rest of the team is really, really important. Like it's, it's, that's, that's a huge thing for us. Like we, we really appreciate that. Um, and yeah, like Firebottle said, like there's just, there's there's a lot of stuff that we end up doing as the dev team working on stuff, but the folks like CKY and Dennis and Dragon's Lair and you know a lot of our other Firebot experts and mods and whatnot, they keep the lights on in the Discord because that's sort of like where the Discord is where everything happens, right? Like that's the thing where when we launch new versions, we announce it in the Discord. When people have issues or they have questions about it, they go to the Discord. When we have people who, you know, are giving us feedback and saying, hey, this is great, or hey, I'd love to see this, you know, change to be better for XYZ reason, that stuff happens mostly in the Discord. And so to have the folks that are there 
keeping the lights on for us and keeping things rolling and, you know, helping out our user base. That's a huge thing for us because we can't do it all. Like this is a, this is a, this is a labor of love. This is a passion project. You know, we all have jobs and lives and, and we, you know, do this stuff in our spare time when we can. And to be able to do this stuff and have like this whole group that's really like, you know, just helping make all this happen is huge. Exactly, exactly what Reject said. You know, we get to concentrate on the dev work because we have our experts and our mods who are able to concentrate on helping out folks in the Discord and, and getting folks squared away. Um, so it's, it's, it's huge. It's huge. Um, we, people say it takes a village and this is our little village, man. This is our village. It's, it's great. Um, so yeah, so that's 5.61 in the books. There you go. 5.61.0. Um, no, no reject. You can't No. CKY has his he's he already claimed it. He's with a mouthful of crayons. No, 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 Warder, no, Warder, you're just a dingus. It's very different. It's a fine line. It's a fine line. Um But anyway, um this is I'm very, very excited about all this stuff. Again, like we've got you know, the watch live button on the website and being able to go and see who's live streaming with Firebot right now. Um, not a mouthful. That's, that's fair boss. That's fair buddy. Um, but just to be able to see this stuff is just like, this is so cool. So, um, thank you all again for, for using Firebot, for giving us your feedback, for helping us make it better. Um, we really do want to be the best bot just because this is the stuff that we enjoy. Like we're, we're passionate about it. We care about it. And we want to make sure that we're doing the best job for you that we can. And so all of your feedback and encouragement really, really helps. Um, crayons, paste, lead paint. Oh, yeah, he loves his lead paint. Yeah, but like as a treat. You know? <clears throat> you replace four bots with Firebot. Yeah, I don't, I like, what was I using before? I had some... Some stuff I was doing with, because I, I, I started off, when I started streaming um, a little over three years ago, I was using the Streamlabs chatbot, like the local one. So I replaced that, obviously, with Firebot. Um, I was using Stream Elements overlays for a little while. That's all doing in Firebot now. Really, the only thing that I miss that I don't have anymore is persistent stuff like, um, uh, you know... Um, like little meters and things to show like progress bars. Progress bars is the thing I'm thinking of. Showing progress bars for stuff like um, sub goals and things like that. But that's something that is on our, our roadmap that we will eventually do. It will probably be a version six thing. Uh, we're calling those overlay widgets because that's stuff that's persistent that stays on the overlay. Um, but we're, you know, we're, we're working on it and just trying to do as best we can. We're, again, small team, trying to do the, the dev stuff that we can and, and getting the stuff that's most important that we know we can get out fairly quickly. The variable stuff was a big one that had a lot of things that we needed to fix and update in there, so we went ahead and did that. Uh, the, um, the Twitch auth stuff that we did in the last version, stuff that we had to do because Twitch was like, hey, these are the new rules, we, we need you to play by them, so, you know, stuff that we did. But again, we try to do other stuff too to make sure that we, you know, make up for some of the the pain points, which is why we do things like, you know, the Firebot featured streams and adding the shorthands for, you know, uh, some of the variable types and the evaluate JavaScript stuff. Um, in version 5.60, um, <clears throat> you know, we know there was some stuff around channel rewards and having to, to recreate that stuff. And it was just, we know that's a pain in the ass. Like I had to go through and recreate my channel rewards too, just like everybody else did. Um, but you know, we had a lot of new stuff that we added in, in 5.60 that 
that people have been waiting for. So things like all of the, like, we got hype train support, polls, predictions, the Twitch charity stuff, um, channel goals. We've got made improvements to chat. And like, this is this kind of stuff that we, you know, we're like, hey, sorry, sorry we had to do this thing. We hope this helps, you know? And so it's just, it's one of those things where we feel that we feel that pain and we try to make it up um, to you all as best we can. Mixer integration for MIRC. First stream and Mixer to do some testing just happened to be Firebottles. You hang out in Firebottle stream chat for a while. Eventually, he releases Firebot. And... Just, I really wish I had spent more time on Mixer. I really do. I hate, like, the whole Mixer thing is just so sad. Yeah, um, what happened with me was I had, um, So my best friend, he was watching Twitch for a while before I started even streaming and really like paying attention to stream stuff. And um, he he was telling me, he's like, listen, he's like, there's this bot that you may be interested in because there was a stream team um, that was, they were all using this bot. And actually it was the one that Cave used to be a part of. Um and he's like like they all talk about this bot you you really should check it out like it they seem to love it they it's open source like it's it sounds really good and i'm like that's i'm like okay i'll go check this out sure what the hell and that's that was firebot and so like that's how cave got involved and then i got i started checking out firebot and seeing what all it did and like you know, I know a lot of the stuff that, like, the conversion from Mixer to Twitch, Cave, she helped a ton with that. Um, and so I got to come in a little while after that and just start to learn about it and see all the cool stuff that Firebot could do. I'm like, oh, I have ideas for this. Because, like, I used to work in automation software, like IT automation software. So that's where the whole thing with the scheduled effects list came from because I used to work in on software that would do stuff like this. And I'm like, I just, I want to make, I want to, I want to help make Firebot like a, an automation platform. Like it's my whole stream is automated. Like I don't have to push many buttons for things because like it starts my streams for me. It does everything for me. Like it just, there's so much stuff that it just does for me. Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, but for live streaming devs, God. Paintbrush, hi buddy. Mixer had some super cool chat interaction stuff too. Yeah, it really did. It really did. So twice automate the fucking thing. Listen, order, order, order. I will spend six hours automating a ten minute task, so I never have to look at that ten minute task ever again, ever again. Press the BRB screen button. Yeah, but the BRB screen is it's fine. I I have to redo the BRB screen, Lolly. That's the problem. I have to redo it because I don't like it and I need something. I want something new. I want something different. And I already have some ideas and I'm, I might work on them next week. I d it's, it doesn't work right. It's fine. It's fine. I'll fix it. Working software packaging. Yeah. Yeah, Grandpa. That's the same. Like, I had been looking for ages for an open source project that I could latch onto and really feel like I could make meaningful contributions to and like something that I would use and care about. And so I, when I found Firebot, I'm like, holy shit, this is it. This is the thing. Oh, also that lolly. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Is it between you? You back in program after years of not doing programming? Um, paintbrush. Bro, I don't know how to tell you this, but um, you're welcome, and also I'm not sorry. Sorry, bud. Uh, sorry, not sorry. But love you. I do. I do love you. You know that, though. Paintbrush, you're a good egg. Um, five p.m. to see 
watch starting to get populated. Oh man, I know. Like I'm I'm gonna be hitting refresh on this, like look at this. We already have more people. We already have more people. Like I'm just this is so cool. This is so great. Uh I'm just Let's see, I'm just catching up on some stuff. Let's see. Like we've, it's so fun seeing like folks talk about the stuff that they've been working on with Firebot. Like I just, I love seeing what people make with this thing. Oh, Biggs, this page is so good. This is, it's so good. It's so fucking good. Like, honestly, I, I love, I love that, like, the, I love that the layers, like, the layers are beautiful. The layers turned out perfect on this. <gasps> Matt! Matt, buddy! Matt, I miss you and I love you. Yeah, the 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 hover, the hover is so good. And like what's fun is the hover actually shows like like it the the Twitch preview does show like the the content warnings. So if someone has like all of the content warnings, you know, that's it will kind of do it, but like if you hover, you will see you will typically see a stream preview. Like mine is, you know, there's there's my preview right there. Like I'm hovering over and I'm watching, I'm watching the preview of my stream and we're just gonna see, like it's a zoop 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 zoop. But like this is just, it's so cool being able to see like little previews of people who are streaming using Firebot. I just, I love it. Previewception, yeah. I'm doing good, Matt. We just released Firebot version 561. Um, I'm just like so so happy. Like it just ah uh, yeah. This is this has been really really great. And, oh, and then there's all of the. Let's see, let me go look at my email. Uh, no, not the Red Lobster one. Closed, closed, closed. All of the bug, like, Reject was so excited to go through and close all of the open bug reports that are released in this version. So many, so many cool things. Like, so many things that are just like, done, 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 done. And I also tend to, like, keep the... Um, the the release email that I get from GitHub, especially for the last couple versions, because we've done so much stuff in the last couple of versions. Like, holy crap. Holy crap. We're down to 23 bugs? Really? Are we really down to 23 bugs? We're down to 20 bugs. That's wild. Like, I I love that we've been able to get s this, like, whittled down so much. How many of these are support requests? None open. How many of these are assigned to me currently? Um, oh yeah, that's something I want to do at some point. The multiple WebSocket connections. Yeah. 23, nine, no, stop that, Lolly. All the things you need to to fix that get broken in this release. Uh, Mad-Eye, if you go to, go to our website, and firebot.app. And then on the website, and you can go here and you'll see what's, click what's new. It will take you to the release notes for the latest version. 
And then for the breaking changes, there's a note right up here at the very top of the release notes. There's a wiki article that's linked here. And you can go to this wiki article and it will tell you all of the variables that are affected by uh, today's release. If you have an issue with something variable related that's not listed here, that something was working prior to this update and is no longer working, we do have a thread in our Discord. Uh, grab the link. There's a link to our Discord. Join the Discord and go to the Issues channel. There's a, there's a thread pinned in the Issues channel in the Discord specifically for variable issues that got broken with this release. So, Matt, how dare you? Matt, how dare you? Yeah, other than those variables, nothing should be broken going from 5.6.0 to 5.6.1. It's just the variables that we have listed on the wiki page for this. That's it. Everything else should be fixes, improvements, stuff like that. If there is something else that you do find that is broken, please create a thread in issues so that we can go in and investigate and troubleshoot. Because um, that is not something that we intended to do. Those, this is the only thing that we knew was going to be breaking in this version. Uh, no, regex isn't broken. Regex got fixed. It was broken before. Maybe word search for those variables instead of manually open up each item in the GUI. Currently, no, Mad Eye. Um, I will say something that you may want to try. This is something that I do. You can try yourself. Um, let me close this folder. Visual Studio Code even if you're not a developer, is a great way to edit and search through text files. What you can do in VS Code is, once you install Visual Studio Code, you can go to Open Folder. You can go to your Firebot folder, and it's going to be in App Data, Firebot, V5, Profiles. And then you can do each individual profile, so the main profile is named Main Profile by default and open that folder, okay? And then what you'll see in here is, you will see all of the stuff, all of the data for Firebot in your, um, in your profile. And then you can search through stuff like this. So if I wanted to look for anything that's the dollar sign regex, I can find that in here and look and see what it is. So like for channel rewards, I have this particular channel reward here that I know is, I can look through and see, that's for the colors, because I do some regex wonky stuff around um, changing the lights back here. <clears throat> um, I also have like a thing in one of my commands, one of my custom commands, around changing the colors here. Uh, so this is all like my Elgato light stuff. So that allows me to, this global search over here will let me search all of that, everything inside of the folder that I have open. It will search all of these files for me. So Visual Studio Code is a really powerful way to search through all of those text files. And it's not really like, it's, it's, it's a fairly lightweight application too, unless you're like a developer who has a bunch of stuff going into it. So, uh, Okay, bye reject. I love you reject. Have fun doing Minecraft or whatever. Regex is an emulation of cats walking across keyboards. Yes, correct. Correct. That's correct, yeah. Um but yeah, this is why we do the beta stuff. Um especially with stuff that we feel like that we either know or have a feeling that will break things. Um because it's a way for folks to, to get in and um, test stuff out and find stuff. And we got a lot of great feedback in this beta cycle. We had a lot of folks come in and say, hey, I was working on this. This is, you know, doesn't work anymore. Can you, um, like, can you take a look at this? This was not working, or this was working fine prior to the beta. I'm using the beta. It's broken now. 
and we got a lot of stuff fixed throughout the beta cycle because of it. Um, like if you go and look in the release notes throughout the beta, like if I scroll down here, well, let's, let me look at like beta five. Cause that's got like the consolidated release notes, but like beta five and you can see in beta two, we fixed an issue from beta one because we had redone like commands. And so like, um, CKY had found an issue. It's like, Hey man, I renamed, like I duplicated a command and renamed it. It didn't show the new name. Um, so we got that fixed. Um, in beta three, we had some stuff from both beta one and two that we had fixed some things and some other things got broken. Folks found it, let us know, we were able to fix it. Um, beta four was literally just a bit fixed from stuff from beta one. Um, beta five had a couple of things that we had like changed and updated and fixed from previous beta. So like, that's what the beta cycle is for. The beta cycle is absolutely for helping us find that stuff so that when it does, you know, come time to release, we know what those, um, you know, we know that those things are, are in a really good place. So, um, all right. <clears throat> it is, it is three o'clock my time. Um, oh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. We don't have, we don't know what everybody's doing. Like there's, there's only so much that we can fix because, like, even with all the stuff that we use Firebot for on our own streams, we're not doing everything. And we're, there's no way we can do everything and test everything. Um, so we are, we are trying to do our best to make sure that, you know, we test as much of this stuff as possible. Let's see. I'm just double checking some things. CKY, I just saw that. Thank you. Um, see. Sorry, folks. I'm just getting caught up on some stuff over here because release day is always. It's always a busy, hectic day. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just delete that thread. Don't need that anymore. Okay. Um, so yeah, super, super excited about this new release. Uh, love it, love it, love it so much. Um, what else am I going to do today? I do want to look and see what stuff do I have open? All right. Close that is completed. Nice, nice, nice. Love all of that. Man, love release day. Oh, love release day. Release day is my favorite. Um, okay. Go back and look real quick.
And before Firebot closes, we speak. Nice. Nice. Love that. Love, love, love that. Love it so much. I, I can't wait to see this page just full of people. I, I just, I truly cannot wait to see this page full of people who are live with Firebot. Like, I'm just so excited. Start Firebot to putting a private channel in your Discord because you run a Firebot in a VM and never have to open the damn thing unless you go to change something. Ooh, nice. Nice. The issue, I'll simply get him. Okay. Yeah, let me know. Um, if you can if you can get the log for me, Dennis, then that would be fantastic. Maybe I can fix that now. See. I know. It's fine, Biggs. It's I'm I'm Biggs. You know what it is. You know it's probably just like leftover from a corrupt notification JSON. Dennis, is this the thing where uh, like it gets it hangs up on start and and you have to delete the notification JSON? Yeah, okay. All right. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a god dang hot dog. Look at my hot dog controller. Look at my hot dog controller. It's so good. My Oscar Mayer Wiener controller. So good. I love it. Keeks, what's going on? Welcome in. Good to see you. That's a god dang hot dog. They're built an alert thing for Firebot, or do you have to use custom? Um, so we don't have like an alert template. No, um, it's just whatever you end up showing. So mine, uh, is I have preset lists or I've, I have preset templates for mine. So mine, for example, this is my default one. Um, and it like shows, shows an image and like I have a show HTML or show text thing for mine. Uh, so like my, let's see if I have, what do we have here? Oh, I took the Tiltify thing out that's why. So for like, well, I guess I can just do it this way. Ice Bear needs it for everyday hustling. So that's that has a that's a preset effect list that I've got set up with however these things are set up like the the different things. Um and then I've got a retro one. For my retro stuff which I really enjoy. So that's a fun one. Make their own more advanced one. That's what so that's one of the things cat that we that's one of the things that we kind of go back and forth on. Like, do we set up like a templating system for that? Cause that's setting up like the template is a lot of work or do we set it up to where people can like do their own stuff? Um, that's something I would like to see us be able to do more of when we like overhaul the overlay system, um, which we will eventually do for stuff like, um, uh, overlay widgets and stuff like that. Um, 
but it's just right now with the way that overlays are managed, it's a lot harder to build that kind of stuff. So, but yeah, exactly like Big said, you know, stuff that we we will eventually try to do for version six. Um, it's just it's hard to do with the current setup. Um, now maybe eventually we can if you know because version six gonna, is going to take a while but version five is still under active development as you can see like because we're we literally had a release today with a bunch of new features and fixes um maybe we'll be able to do things in version five with it i don't know we probably won't but it could happen now, version 6 is what we're targeting because we are building everything from scratch in version 6. So we will build this stuff from the ground up with that in mind and being able to do that. Um, so we could do it then. But could it happen in version 5? Maybe, but we don't know. We don't know. Yeah, that's that's fair, Dennis. Um, I, the alert thing I'm, I may end up tackling cause like, that's something that I know a lot of folks have been, have been asking about and wanting and just doing basic stuff where it's like, we have, like you have an image with the URL, a, where you want the image placed in relation to the text and what you want the text to say. And that's it. Like just super basic stuff. Um, but you know we'll again that's that's a boy that's a big that's a big set of stuff because there's just there's a lot that goes into something like that um you have your shout out set up like that oh gotcha I could pass on a variable for its position that you could then use in later effects in the list. Um, an overlay effect could pass on a variable for its position that you could you then use in later effects in the list. <laughs> nice cat, nice. Is it in? Hey, there it is. Refresh. 210. All right, let's go see. Motivation database is invalid. All right, let's go see what's going on with this. All right, let's close. All right. Error on when ready step. Load notification cache. Oh, no, not here. I don't even need this window open anymore. Not there, there. And there's a report. That's fine, Dennis. That's fine. That's not a big deal. Listen, you reproed it on Linux, so it's fine. Or you, you, I mean, you know it repros on Windows, so I'm not worried about it. I know what you meant, Keeks. I got you, buddy. Um, man, I should have had Bean put this in the fridge. Um, why is it not eight? Well, because I don't know. Hold on. Let me just. I guess I can eat it. I just didn't want to eat it in y'all's face, but I'm going to eat it now.
How dare you, CKY? How dare you? Don't encourage their behavior. Okay, let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> um, Dennis, can you get me a corrupt notifications.json file? Can you send me a fucked up version so that I can test? Because mine is currently not. Wait, just like take the brackets out of it? Huh, okay. Sweet. Okay. Huh. Right. All right. Well, let's uh, let's stop and restart Firebot. Okay. Restarting and we're busted. Okay. Why is this not catching on this? Why are you not catching? <clears throat> Thanks, reject. 
sitting here working on it. Hmm. Damn it, reject. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Sorry, Kinks. Reject was being a little shit. <laughs> With last year's, right? Thanks, Chip. All right. <clears throat> All right, let's rebuild this. Okay. Ah. Okay, and let's F11 into this. Okay. All right, so I think what I'm going to have to do, <clears throat> it creates the object, but it's not like... Do we have a validate thing here? Do we have like any way to validate this? Oh, okay. So I can do a load. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. <clears throat> Yeah, I think a load should work here. Okay, okay. This is good. I'm just going to take the error out of here. It still doesn't. <clears throat> okay. Boy, this thing is being a real pain in the tuchus.
smoke test time. That's right. <clears throat> Just be like, whoa, whoa. Oh, put that there. Yeah, let's go past it. And... Why is it not? Okay, it recreates it, <clears throat> which is fine, but like, I don't understand why it's not, I don't understand why it's not actually deleting. <clears throat> All right, we're going to try something. Let's stop it and fork it again and try again. If I read <clears throat> OPS media source is hidden or visible. I don't know that we have a variable for it. Um, and I don't know. Let me go. Let's see. Look at integrations, OBS, variables. Oh. Um, <clears throat> we do have a scene item enabled variable. Here's the OBS scene item that triggered the, oh, that's, oh, I see. That's just for the event though. Hmm. We only have an event for that. We don't have one that tells us. Um, I know we just added this in 560, um, but that's for like when you, for the event of when a, like a scene item is enabled or disabled. Um, oh my God, Viv, what are you doing? Viv, the bots, the, the bot is down. The system is down. The cheat is grounded. All oh, right. There we go. Um, oh, I'm not running it. I guess it would help. Let's clear out all this. Okay, let's restart that. You'll get your Jurassic Quack. Settle down. 
I just gotta fix this bug first. Why is it not deleting? I don't understand why it's not actually deleting the file. Need to be a different path? Shouldn't because we're getting the full path. I'm going to change this though. No bugs or devs? Um, cheese. That's my answer, and I'm sticking to it. Viv, learn the code so you can come fix them. Cheese is sometimes the only answer. It's true. It's true, Maddon. Bug, therefore the answer must be bug. God damn it, Viv. I think I know what's happening. I think I know what's happening. That's okay, Viv. I gotta <clears throat> listen. I can't really fault you there. That's true. I can't fault you there. That's what's happening. <sighs> I know what's happening. Um,
That's what's happening. <clears throat> okay. All right. All right, I'm going to pull the breakpoint out of here. We have a bad notifications, Jason. Okay. <gasps> Karen. Karen, I love you. Thank you for crop dusting me with love. It's true, she was. Yeah. I can smell her love in the air, Viv. Karen, I hope everything's going well today. I hope work's not bugging you. Hey, hey, I fixed it. Ha ha! Well done, me. <clears throat> there we go. And this way often as well. Oh, God, Biggs, aren't dog farts the worst? <clears throat> Yes, Dennis, I know. But JSON DB automatically puts dot lowercase JSON at the end of it. So. Yeah. If it's. If it's. Yeah. Vegeta, yes! Cheesy cat. F oh. Listen. This is why I don't feed my cat cheese. My cat is not a cheese monster like yours. Quack, 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 quack. What are we adding? Smell o vision? I don't know. Put it on the uh, put it on the list for version seven fire bottle. Okay, so. Gonna stage this. What is number twenty four oh five? Okay. <clears throat> so now we try this, we do this, and yeah. I think we might hot fix this. All right, so now we get here, we try to load it. If it loads, great. If not, <clears throat> then we come down here, we delete it, and we keep on trucking. And cut some quick actions, yeah. Okay, everything else seems fine. Um... <clears throat> Biggs, what do you think? You think we should hotfix this bad boy? Just so it doesn't hit as so many people when... Uh, when they go to update? Think so? Okay. Um, Let me... Go grab this. I can <clears throat> go npm version patch. Go ahead and sync up that. Place local tags. Okay. This should be tagged with that. Beautiful. 
<clears throat> and long as we have to update the Sag, definitely worth hot and, hot and bothered. It's a hot and heavy, like Little Caesars, okay? It's hot and ready. Hot and heavy. Love you, Viv. Love you, buddy. Okay. Uh, let's open PR. PR. Yep. 5.61.1. Just the two commits, yeah. Okay. Great PR. But is it good? It's hot and it's ready. All right, we'll let that go. Oh, the crazy bread. Pizza, pizza. Ooh, the wee toddler niece is over and she is not happy right now. Who's hot and ready? Probably Viv. Now you want crazy bread? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what we do here. Biggs, would you be so kind as to go approve my PR, please, sir? A cardboard box, Caesars, a few bucks away from you. You don't need it? No, you, oh, you need it. Thank you, boo boo. Okay, we'll get that build and draft that release because we got some folks having that. That's, that's a good, uh, that's a good catch though. Dennis. TKY, thank y'all for helping diagnose. See, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. Without those guys, we wouldn't be able to get this stuff done. I love this damn page so much. <clears throat> oh, well, I forgot to rename it, but it's fine. It makes you look like a giant. Yeah, please, please. Also, there are no, no, there are no idiot questions here. Listen, I do, I do stupid shit all the time, and I work on this thing. So the way that the regex stuff worked before was we were returning back, at least I know for regex exec we were, because I was using it. We used to return back like a two string, so if you found a single match, on Reg regex exec, you would just get back the string of whatever it matched to. Now we return back the matches array that JavaScript gives us. So what you have to do is, it, it didn't used to reply in JSON, it used to reply in a comma separated list because that's what the two string did. Now it replies back in an array, even if it's just one element in the array. So, what you do is, um, you now get array element of the regex exec, and you can't see it here because it's cut off because the button, but you do comma zero, okay? So you just wrap the regex exec inside of an array element variable with zero at the end to give you the first element of the array. And that'll do it. Cause it used to just give you back that match. Now it 
gives you back the array. However, I'm doing pretty good. We are building a hotfix for today's Firebot release. So I'm pretty excited about that. <clears throat> we're just uh we're fixing some stuff. I love I I love this because like we've the last two times that we've done a Firebot Friday, we have done a release. And both of those times we have had a hotfix that had to go out because we discovered things while live that we needed to fix. And it's just like, is it like, it sucks that we have to fix the things like sure, you know, not great, but I love that we are able to do this and like react to this so quickly. It's just so cool to me that we can do this stuff. Like it's so nice. Anyway, by the way, ever, new Firebot release, new hotness. Don't open Firebot yet. You're welcome, Mortar. You're welcome. I, listen, I only know this because I did the exact same thing last week. <clears throat> because I'm deploying a prod. Yes, that's why it was broken. That's precisely why it was broken. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, that's, I did. <laughs> well, I was like, I learned it from you. That's basically what just happened. The wonders of modern technology. Yeah, Fritz, you get it. You get it, pal. Uh, uh, okay, while this is building, um, I'm going to be right back. Yes, you get to watch my chair for a minute, but I will be back, and, uh, and I'm going to go get a little bit more something to drink. i got to find something to drink, probably. I'm... Eh, I'm okay, but I'm gonna go throw my trash away, so I'll be right back. I didn't make a Zam command for you, it just happened. Oh. I grabbed that. 
<clears throat> I saw. I mean, that's good. Uh, it's actually Super Mario Galaxy that's playing right now. Oh, hello, kitty cat. Do you want to come say hi to friends? No. No, loaf. Gonna go get in the chair. Chair's over there. You can go sit in the chair. Yeah. Get in the chair. You think about it. <laughs> All right. Is it done? Okay, perfect. Um, it's a loaf. We love that loaf. He's the best kitten's cat. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> let's see, let me see something real quick. How do we usually do patches? Not fix notes. Not fix notes. Review. Oh, I have to put the uh, the checky majub, checky majub, checky majub. There's the checky majub. <clears throat> okay, that's good. <gasps> Little loaf. Oh, you want to help? Want to help? Yeah, are you helping? You can get on the desk. Okay, you get on the desk and you help. Yeah, you're doing a great job, loaf. It's an issue where we weren't handling. Okay. Perfect. That's the loaf. Hi, the loaf. Hi, loaf. Come here. Come say hi. Oh, she's a snuggly cat. Oh, there she goes. Oh, there's a good ear rub. There's a good. Oh, yes. Loaf on the desk. Loaf wants to do a regex. She would be great at it. She loves walking on stuff, especially random keyboards. Oh, the jingle jangle of a kitten's cat. Hello. Hello. Sweet girl. Okay. Go. We're gonna 
grab the notes for this. Ah, that's all off. Oh, are you trying to give snuggles? No? Trying to give you snuggles? What you got there? What you got there? Oh my goodness. Oh, kisses. Oh, kisses. Just barely on camera. Kisses. Oh, she loves kisses. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> Let's see. Reject, you don't you don't want to leave the caution in there. Is there a way to set a source state to on or off instead of just a toggle? Um I don't know. Hello. What are you doing? Okay, Tate. Hello. Do you like sitting on the desk? Caution's already been cautioned. Okay. No more cautions. We do need the, uh, Add these back in because we didn't get to fit them on the last one. Uh, the ink. Taste test. She loves to give kisses. Are you are you slinking under there? Yeah, are you sneaking by? What you doing? You like being up here with Bear? My goodness. Oh my goodness. Such a good kitty. She's the number one kitten's cat. Juicy sweet baby. I just haven't seen her tail on the camera. Just little little tail. Ah, baby. Is that good? Lovely kisses. Come here. You want a mirror? You can come over here? Yeah? Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna help bear out. Yeah? Okay. There we go. I'm playing some Minecraft and we're not playing it. Suck it up. Oh man, love those. Love those. Alright, um, 5.61.1. I think that'll be fine. 5611, 5611. Okay, send it. Publish it. Okay. Hey, come here. Where you going? You going? Okay. It's not even related to your department? Then, wow. <laughs> then why are you there? Okay. Issues. Okay. Fixed in 5.61.1. Close with comment. Beautiful. All right. <clears throat> Just in case. Okay. Little buddy, what you doing down there? 
I keep getting cat aggro. I'm not even mad about it. Okay. That should fix that. Um. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Dennis. Thanks for getting that log. That, uh, that helped tremendously. Let's go see what our stats look like so far. I love that we already have over 300 downloads of 561. But I also love that we're going to get even more downloads of 5611 that are going to fix that issue. Like... Love it so much. Uh, reject. Do you want me to mention that? Okay, I just I figured that's why you were bringing it to my attention, but I just wanted to be sure uh, before saying something. Um, like I'm I'm fine with all of it. Um, so I, we do want to put a disclaimer out there. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay, so the. The new watch page, which is great. Um, at our discretion, because we have a very wide and varied community, at our discretion, we may hide certain um, streams from this list based on a number of factors, including categories, tags, things like that, just because it's not something that we necessarily want to promote or feel comfortable promoting. So... It may not be here. Um, that's at the team's discretion. That's at the the crowbar tools, the group that makes Firebot. That's at our discretion. So we want to make sure that we are in, as inclusive as possible. And part of that is in means that we may filter out streams that we may not want to promote for certain reasons. Um, things that may have like um, you know, adult line skirting content like hot tub streams, um, things related to, you know, drug use, things like that. We may hide stuff like that from this page. It's nothing against you, necessarily. But we have to make sure that we are trying to be welcoming and inclusive to our entire community. And we are going to try to take a page from Twitch's handbook on some of the things that they are going to no longer be showing or promoting um, on their page. We are going to do some of those similar actions based on content labels and things like that. Yes. Essentially, mature content-related categories or tags may result in streams being hidden. Changing away from those categories will result in the streams reappearing on the list again, okay? So, like, if you're, again, if you're doing, like, hot tub stuff, do your thing, get your bag. We just, it may not be something that we necessarily feel comfortable showing to our entire community because that is the Firebot website that represents us. If you switch away from that and change whatever you're you're up to, then, you know what, that's fine, and we can we can unhide that content, okay? Depending on what it is. Um, but we just, we want to make sure that we are creating an open and safe community for all of our users. And sometimes that means making the tough decisions about the things that we don't necessarily feel comfortable promoting to everyone. Get your bag. That's right. 
uh, get that's yeah. Oshimia, yes, exactly. It's the tolerance paradox. That's yeah. Grab that bread, make that cheese, bring that bacon, all that jazz. <clears throat> Where did the loaf go? Table. She's doing loaf stuff under the table. So yeah, there may be things that we hide on that screen or on that uh, on that page. Again, nothing personal. We just trying to keep our stuff safe for as many people as possible. Cheese, yes, cheese, cheese. Um, okay, I think we have done most of the stuff that we're gonna do today. Let's go back. Let's do one more look at the issues and see what we've got. Um, back to create an entry in the Firebot activity log. Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Cheese. Cheese. Fucking James May, right? Right? Um, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Water's like... Water's like... Uh, and around here we yell cheese three times. Perfect. I love it. Let's see what other bugs that we have right now and see if there's anything like small that I might be able to look at. Visual issue and preset effect list with more than one tag. That's kind of a can of worms. It's a four sixteen by nine to ratio toggle. Yeah, we might. I might come back to that. That's going to be a whole thing to fix. Okay. Okay. Nothing happened. What happened? Nothing happened. Uh, I don't know. All the bugs are signed to Bix. Listen, if GitHub didn't want me to assign all the bugs to Bigs, they should have given me a checkbox that lets me assign all the bugs to Bigs. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see. They automatically deduct currency from user if restrictions pass setting checked. Nothing happens. Um, oh, Firebottle grab this one. Firebottle, bud, do you want to still work on this or do you want me to take a look at it while I'm in here? Since I'm the last one to touch currency, this is going to get to a point where like 70% of the shit on the back end is going to, I'm going to be the last one to have touched it because I'm like doing a bunch of refactor. And then it's going to all be my problem. This is what's going to happen. This is just the way it works. All right. I'll go take a look. Let's see. Automatically deduct currency. Hey, y'all got any of that currency? Auto deduct currency. All right, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, like, 
again, huge, huge ups to our beta testers and to our experts for fielding so much of that stuff and getting us that feedback because that was incredibly helpful for us to get all of this stuff squared away and working and in a good place before the release today. That was huge, huge, huge. Yeah, we should we should have... We're already at 31 downloads for the, the hotfix. Which I'm really looking... I'm loving about that. And then there it is, 561.1. I also, I love that we put in the, the, um, the platform specific buttons on here. That's just beautiful. So tomorrow to download the latest. Honestly, there's, I don't think there's gonna be much else. I mean, you're gonna wait if you want to, but uh, I think this is, we've got a really, really stable release here. Besides you, uh, Osha, you did the, uh, you were in the beta, weren't you? You, were, you had the beta installed. So. Hey, what are you doing down there? You're done for the night anyway. That's that's totally fair. You seen them? I I saw them. They did it. It was them. It was all them. That's such a nice touch. Yeah, I, I we really like that one too. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing down there? You stop messing with that. It's not. That's for yeah. Pets is for loafs, not cables. <clears throat> All right. Um, I wonder if I can pull that out of there now. Maybe. I don't know. <clears throat> Negative math abs. I know. I know. I know. I mean, I can do that if you want me to. While I'm in here. Um, all right, so Okay, okay, good. It wasn't complaining. Yeah, that's true. Somehow, well, visually, yes, but yeah, it's... Is there like a math dot invert? That just returns the sign. So it doesn't, you can't change the sign that way. <clears throat> um, username, currency ID, adjustment type. Oh, that's a good point, reject. Yeah, I guess there's, I guess you could do, do it that way. It's probably the easiest one. Oh, for there again. Some kisses? Oh, that's a good kisses. Oh, thank you. Very sweet. Very sweet kitten. 
Just subtract from zero. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, we do need to test this out. What restrictions? What events can this restriction be used on? Oh, it can just anything. Okay. Um. <clears throat> let's. Well. Mm, I don't know. I don't know if I have a good test case for this. I guess I can make a command real quick. Let's make a test three. <clears throat> Restrictions, currency, add, currency, are equal to five. Okay. I'm gonna go create a new currency real quick. Points. Um, no payouts, no timed payouts. Um, okay, uh, let's see. This is the on fire about close event if you're just hitting close? It'll run the event and then close. Yes, if you're just you just close fire button, you're just hitting the close button. As we like close out the application, we trigger that event on the way out, and then it does its thing, and then it's gone. Yep, for sure, for sure. Uh. Let's see, I want points better than five. Okay. All right, um, if it's not a bug and you get the privilege to yell, it, oh, uh huh, uh huh. Mm-hmm. All right, Dennis, do it again. Yeah, it ran it for Dennis and nobody else. And it, uh, <clears> hmm. <throat> Choke's on you, Reject. I have a special build that prevents you from doing things. This is my special Reject's Not Allowed version. So, lo, 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 lo. All right. Um, I'll give you 20 points just to test it with. Reject, you want to try again? Okay. The patent pending reject, reject rejects. Rejects man. Missed window. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Mm, you're down to 15 points now. I listen, uh maybe maybe it's a side effect of the new version and like redoing the currency manager stuff. Maybe and this is like 557, five, so uh Listen, I'm I'm fine calling this fixed. I'm going to say this is fixed in 5.61.0 because this is when we redid the uh here, and I'll take Fire Bottle off of it. QA passed. And not going to be open. Exactly. Fixed. Love that. Love that. Uh. That's going to be a pain in the ass because hotkeys are terrible. UI not updating for chat as an effect list after fresh login. Why don't we fix this? Didn't we fix this in 560? Uh, this is not a bug. This is a... Wiki enhancement. Okay. I'll just leave it as wiki. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this got fixed in 560. So Dennis, this is the thing where <clears throat> if you have to, if you open up shit like the chat effect or um an effect that says send a chat as whatever either streamer or bot and you open the effect before you have logged in with the bot account it doesn't show that the bot account is an option it just only has the streamer as an option so like i can delete this stuff now Um, <clears throat> so like if you don't, if you're not signed in the first time you open this, you don't get the drop down because you can only chat as a streamer, right? Your point, no, you're, they're gone. I ate them, reject. They were delicious. Your sacrifice has not gone unnoticed. Um, <clears throat> uh, anyway, so the chat as like doesn't update. But I think we fix that with like the auth re all the auth shit. Yeah. No, no, reject. You're not. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, let's see if I disconnect the bot and see what happens. Yeah. So it only gives you the option of streamer. And now let's go manage logins. Let me go log in as the bot real quick. Oh, they updated that page. Again. Okay, so we we'll log in. Okay. There we go. And it defaults back to bot like it's supposed to. So, um, I know CKY had to bounce this afternoon because of his getting the car seen about, but 
Both both sacrifice and snackrifice. Hi, Belly. Wanna come here? Hey, you wanna come say wanna come see my stuff? The wee toddler niece is out in the hallway. You like that order? Uh, <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put this in anyway. Bigger, better negative mathing. That's... Yeah, we're just going to... Commit and push. Oh my. Okay, let's go. Um, this I'm going to call done. Uh, I want to say this was fixed in 560. So I'm just going to fix in 5.60. Because that works. And that was when we redid a bunch of that stuff. Okay. Um, what else we got here? We are down to 16 open bugs. This one I want to monitor. Incorrectly filter by viewer rolls. Bye. See you later, Tater. Mwah. I love you. Oh, thanks. Thanks, buddy. See you tomorrow. I'll come over and I and I will I will go rah 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 at you a bunch. You like when Uncle Bear goes rah rah rah? Oh yeah. <laughs> rah. Yeah, that's right. Ooh. Later, Tater. TKY, mm. <clears throat> I thought you had to take your car in. Okay, so this is the this is the only thing that I'm So this does Man All right, I want to look at something real quick. I want to look at how we do rolls. We can do it by user and ID number. Man, I thanks for hanging out. It's good to have you. Um, thanks for being Firebot user. We appreciate it. Hope you have a great day. Go to where your nephew is born. Oh, I got you, got you, got you. I see. Son of a... Ugh, I knew it. All right, here's what we're going to do.
Wait. I nope, I have a better way. I have a better way. <clears throat> we're going to change this and we're going to go this going to go The rolls refactor. I'm not... Dude, don't even tempt me because I'm very seriously considering it, Reject. I really, really am. Like, for... For Firebot rolls, it's a lot easier because we manage a lot of that dynamically and I don't think we save any of that anywhere. I think that is just, like, as it happens... The only thing that we don't manage is uh, custom roles, because custom roles we do by name. I have, it's true. I have. <clears throat> Let's see. Do it, no balls. I'll fucking do it. Nice. Damn, Update user online status. Wait a minute. Own cache. We don't do ID here, though. Oh, yes, we do. We we set the key by the ID. Then it looks like... I don't know CKY because this is the one of those things where this is going to be one of those things where like shit's going to break probably. Shit will probably break. 40 minute voice call of nodding along. Yeah, that sounds about right. And we get it by the key, and the key here is... Wait, do we really set it on both? No shit. No shit. Wow, we got several people on the uh, the new page. Loving this. Oh my god, is Thor is actually, they're actually playing Dark Souls 2 with a steering wheel controller. That's hysterical. 
And I love it. I love everything about it. That's great. Um, all right. So the active users, we set both the ID and the name. <clears throat> I'm just going to, like, update the names here. Because the Firebot rolls which the only Firebot role that we have is active chat user. That's the only one that we have. Team roles. Let's go to the team roles. Do we use Team Roles Manager outside of Firebot? Do we export it anywhere? Wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we grab stuff, but we never export it, it doesn't look like. We don't ship it out. Love that for me. Love that for me. <clears throat> Zonny's played games with a set of Pioneer DJ decks. That, Dennis, that surprises me not at all. I am completely unsurprised by this. Program a mini pickup to convert waveforms and, uh, and pass that through a joint of pad thing to create the button presses. It was. That's. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's hilarious. Um. You wrote a mini encoder once. Again. Things I'm completely unsurprised by. That that fucking tracks for you. Okay. We're gonna do a little bit of role management here. Let's see. Um Watch me do stupid things in real time. Are y'all ready for me to do stupid things in real time? Real time is just your day. Ever same, buddy. Same. Perfect. You have the controller for it, yeah. Ah, uh, Chatterino told you no. Because <laughs> fuck you, that's why. <laughs> Just so good. Let's just stick this in here. Private. Uh, 
Do, 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 do. All right, I can just, there we go. Perfect. Well, cheap USB number pads and look up pad remap drivers. Yeah. Listen, man, whatever works, whatever works. All right. I need a place for... I need a place to put... Uh, we'll just... You know what? You know what we're going to do? We're going to go here. And... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You need water? Get, get, the, get the fucking water, Dennis. Jesus Christ. Uh... Type. Stop doing that. Oh, you don't you don't like that? Oh, what if I did that instead? Get wrecked. Forty thousand dollars. Oh my god, no. That's too much money. That's just too much. No, that's that's several that's several no. What if no? Right? Will this work? This isn't hydrating now, 40 cat thousand, right? Right, Carrot? Like, Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, okay, maybe, maybe walk it back just a smidge there, Reject. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe that's, maybe not, pal. There's no default export. All right, this is a Firebot roll. That's a string or number. That we know is gonna be a string. Beautiful. Do not get me wrong. This is a um, this looks amazing. I'm not paying 40 grand for this. 
That's that's entirely too much. That's just so much money. It's cool. I'm not paying forty thousand dollars for that. Like you could do that for four hundred dollars, you could make a decent like a decent quality thing like that. Yeah, it does. It it that's exactly what it looks like, Warder, and that's exactly what I would use it for. Is like a production setup, right? Yeah, it, yeah, exactly, exactly. Reject. Yeah, Mega Corp live broadcasting. Yeah, like fifteen seconds of delay before live for on the fly editing. Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, okay. Well, that's that's done. Roll helpers. How big is this file? Not terribly. Uh, man. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, yeah. Love a good Sonic and chill. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Now, how much of this do we actually export? Three, four, five, six. We export all of it. Okay. So then all of it I can just drop in. <laughs> I could do with forty thousand. I, you know, what I could do with forty thousand dollars. Huh. Everything. I could do everything with 40,000. I mean, not everything, but like plenty. Get the let's get the JS docs out of here cuz we don't need them. All right, everybody moves off to the right. Okay. Lose it in the stock market over that too, yeah. Hey, gets delivered next week. Oh, reject.
Reject, get me a, uh, give me a thing, would you? Make me a thing, would you? There we go. Oh, chat roles manager. Oh. Thank you. And this is the 10 years you spent running engines at the aerospace shop. Oh, word, that sounds really cool. There we go. Oop. Okay. Three foot usable bed, counting for Oop. this. Okay. Don't need any of that anymore. All right. Do any of you depend on the role helpers? No. 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 No, blessed. Oh, blessed. <clears throat> Love that. A hundred and four inch swing. Jesus. I don't know what you're talking about, CKY. That's nope. No, that didn't happen. Not nope. Nope. I would never. Oh boy, this is the one that's going to be a pain in the ass. Is the custom role manager because I'm going to have to put in a shim. That's going to be like, hey, look up the ID. If the ID doesn't exist, look up the name. Although I could do it as part of load. I get the database. Hmm. That's gonna be have to be a, some front end heavy lifting too, though. All right, let's go. <clears throat> the ID should always be loaded. What do you mean? 
What are you angry about? Oh, um, yeah, I'm working on it. All right, you don't need that. Ah, uh, class team role manager. Balance team role manager. New team role manager. Export equals team role manager. Private <clears throat> streamer teams equals type which team equals stuff will get to that. You angry about? Oh, I know that. Settle down. <clears throat> yeah, roles roles haven't worked with I. Well, with okay, so it's because we haven't looked up stuff with ID now. Firebot roles, which only include, um, which only include active chat user, that actually works with ID, because when we add an active chat user to the cache, we add them both by name and ID. So if one fails, the other one can succeed, and it's sort of a backwards compatibility thing. <clears throat> Not there, there. Uh, all right, you're done. Oh, shit. I guess I could just make this an interface because It doesn't have to be like a full on type. It'll be fine. And some work, but the price makes it worth it. Well, there you go. All right, let's go constructor. We'll get that in a second. Get team rolls. Put that over here. Delete that, delete that, 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 that. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay. All right. Okay, that. Your ID or name. Ring or number. That'll, that's going to happen sometimes. This is where teams get fixed. Okay. Okay. I'm really tempted to leave this as a string, but if we're using it as a number under the hood, I just... Mm. Mm. One day I'll learn to type. This was technically a string that's coincidentally an auto-increment number. Yes, Dennis, it is. But I don't know what the consequences are for changing this. All right, let's go look at my reference. And then once I finish this up, this is going to be the last thing I do for the day because we're out of time. Get channel teams. Boy, I hate that that's not standard. Ah. <clears throat> uh. All right. What are you doing? Quit that. There we go. 
Full two rows on watch. Look at that. Fantastic. This is great. I love it so much. I love it. <clears throat> and we released not even four hours ago now. It's so cool. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I do it out of habit. Reject. Yeah, I do like the the auto refresh. Uh, download stats are five six one stopped. We're already at about one hundred and fifty, or actually over one hundred and fifty because we got one hundred and forty eight auto updated, ten that downloaded the exe. We got one that downloaded the Mac version. <clears throat> so, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Really, really excited. You know what? That'll do backwards compatibility, so we check the ID first. You know what, I'm not even, yeah, we're not even gonna do numbers, cause IDs are strings. They're just always strings. Infer return type. That's fine by me. Infer return type. Oh. Um. I'm fine with that. Yep, okay. What are you angry about? Oh, you're not angry. You're just untracked. Okay. Do 
This is going to check by username and not by display name. Like user ID name. So that should fix some things. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Cat rolls are going to be a little involved. All right. Oh, yeah, I can repull master branch that has 854 new commits on it. Love that. All right, we're going to wrap it up here, folks. We had a great day today. We got a lot done. Great release. Um, very, very happy. Uh, so I think that's, uh, that's going to do it. Oh, there it goes. Beautiful. Um, well, thank y'all for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Uh, today was an excellent day. Um, I will be back on Sunday evening for uh, more Death Spank, so that'll be a fun time. I uh, hope to see y'all then. Um, but yeah, thank you again to everybody for hanging out, for um, making this a really great release, as always. And looking forward to doing the next one. I think the next one's going to be the Roll Refactor, though. That's, that's what it feels like. Um, all right. In the meantime, let's figure out who we are going to go raid. I'm going to go raid. Let's see. Um... You know what? Let's go raid Thor. Like, I really want to... I, I just... I'm intrigued by them using the steering wheel to play Dark Souls. It's just... It's ridiculous, and I love everything about it. I think we're going to do that today. So we're going to raid someone new. Very, very excited. Um... Where is the we are in fact raiding a firebot user, it's true, because I have a thing for that. Yeah, they're using a steering wheel controller to play Dark Souls 2. Yep. Um Alright. Da, 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 da. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go raid Thor. Hi Alf! Bye, Alf. We're, we're getting out of here. Uh, Alright. Let's go see Thor. Like I said, they're playing Dark Souls 2 with a steering wheel, which should be just hilarious to watch. Um, but, yeah. Thank y'all again for hanging out today. Um, today was great. Uh, raid messages are in the chat. Top one's for subscribers. Bottom one is for anyone who chooses to. But please, let's go take and spam that raid message and all the love into Thor's chat because they are they're a good egg. Um, thank you all again. I appreciate it. Um, I will see you on Sunday for more Death Spank. But until then, please, as always, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And I will... I'll see you soon. Bye.